A terror group affiliated with Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the downing of a Russian passenger plane that crashed in Sinai on Saturday. Joining JPOS TV today is the former Israeli ambassador in Egypt, Svi Mazel, to weigh in on this matter. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. First of all, how likely is it that ISIS had anything to do with this? It's hard to believe. We never know, but it's still hard to believe because uh, ISIS uh, does not have the, as we under, as we know at the time, does not have the missiles, sophisticated missiles, and the means to shoot down a plane flying at a height of about 10 kilometers. Uh, the, the, on the other side, we know that the the place, the area where the plane crashed, is a combat uh, a combat ground between ISIS uh, people, terrorists, and the Egyptian army. But it's not enough to, to be sure that they are really capable of doing it, you see. Uh, but I would like immediately to add that, as we know, those kind of uh, terrorist organization, Islamic terrorist organization, from our experience in Israel and in the, in the whole Middle East, every time there is a kind of a disaster that happens in the in the camp of the enemy, they take responsibility upon them. This kind of propaganda, and to try to, 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 to you know, to, to make your morale down. This is the story. So we never believe, we never believe those people, unless uh, we see some real uh, proof that, uh, I mean, that it uh, has been done. So I, I don't think that they've done it. Okay, we'll see in the coming day. Anyway, what is important to, to also to say immediately, the Egyptian authorities, together with the uh, Russian authorities, have already started an investigation. And this is very serious, but not only them, because this is an a Airbus plane produced in Europe, but a big consortium, uh, Airbus. The main partners are France and Germany. And investigators from that from this company, from both countries, is are now on their way to to Cairo to be part of the investigation. So we can uh, presume that the investigation will be fair, and in about a few days, a matter of few days, we will know the truth because the black, the two black box uh, have been found. And what are the implications for Egypt? The implication for Egypt, whatever happens, are not very, very good because it's a question of tourism. Sinai, especially the the area around the Sharm el Sheikh, is very important for tourism. They have developed Sharm el Sheikh for tourism. There are dozens and dozens of five-star hotels. They receive every year only in Sharm el Sheikh, I think between about three million people. And many of them come. Many of them come from Russia. You see, mm. M many also go to other parties of uh, Egypt, as Urgada in the south of Egypt and and uh, north of Egypt and Cairo. But Sharm uh, el uh, is very, very important, and Sharm uh, el and all Egypt uh, have been suffering from uh, less and less tourists because of the of the crisis since the ouster of uh, of Mubarak. You see, now to put something new about it as a disaster, it will not help them. So they will, I mean, they, they will investigate, and I hope they will find. I hope. I, mean, I, not, I hope it is not uh, ISIS. It is a technical problem. But even if it's a technical problem, it, it's bad. It's bad for the Russians and also for Egyptians. So this is the general uh, impression that one, well, you know, a tourist would like to go to a place where he is safe. And even if there's something around, they don't like it. So it's not good, but let's hope. Anyway, we must also say that it's an old plane. It has um, 18 years. It is 18 years old. And it uh, landed, it took off and landed 21,000 times. Wow. Had, had the uh, 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 maintaining, was the maintaining good? This is something to be investigated sure. by the Russians and by the Egyptians, you see. So there are, lots, there are some, not a lot, but some of question marks, and let's wait a few days and we'll see. 